Father. Once more, we are about to delve into your most sure word of prophecy. Dear God, we know you have given these words to your servants to show them things that must shortly come to pass. And Lord, even many of these things have already come to pass as we will see. Lord, we pray that you be with us, open our hearts and our minds, be with us through the presence of your Holy Spirit that we may understand the Lord as you have meant it to be understood. You be the preacher, you be the teacher in Jesus' name. Amen. The second angel's message, read with me, and there followed another angel saying what? Babylon. Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And last night we saw in the statue of the metal man, the head was Babylon, and we said that you are identified by your head. So as much as the empires changed from, from Babylon to Middle Persia to Greece to Rome, the entire statue is still Babylon. And then we saw the quotation from Faith of Our Fathers which said that Rome was known as the New Babylon. We saw the reign of the king of the empires, Babylon 605 to 538 BC, Medo Persia 538 to 331 BC, Greece or the Macedonian kingdom 331 BC to 168 BC, and then Rome from 168 BC to around 483 AD. Remember Daniel interpreting the dream that Nebuchadnezzar said, and whereas thou sawest the feet and toes part of potter's clay and part of the kingdom shall be divided but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay and so just as there were ten toes in the metals man the metal man's feet daniel's uh, interpretation said that those ten toes represented Ten empires or ten divisions in which the Roman Empire would be divided into. And last night we saw these ten divisions were the Ostrogoths, the Hiroli, the Vandals, the Visigoths, which we now call Spain, the Franks, which we now call France, Suevi, which we now call Portugal, the Alemanni, which we now call Germany, Anglo Saxons, which we now call England, the Lombards, which we now call Italy and the Burgundians, which we now call Switzerland, forming the nations of Western Europe. And these divisions occurred between the period of 351 AD and 483 AD. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes part of potter's clay, we did that already, the kingdom shall be divided. We saw that the potter's clay did not mix with the iron. It was part potter's clay and part iron. But we saw the miry clay mixed with the iron. And we saw that God's people are the potter's clay according to Isaiah 64 verse 8. We saw the miry clay represents sin, backsliding, apostasy, darkness, all according to Psalm 40 verse 2. And this indicated that the New Testament church which began in the empire of Rome, because remember, Jerusalem was under the control of the Roman authorities. Remember Pontius Pilate, remember uh, Tiberius Caesar, all of these were Roman rulers and governors under which the Jews had to be subjected to. And the church was started under the Roman empire and slowly but surely fell away, corrupted by the new Babylon. Now, as Rome existed in the statue, remember, Rome started in the legs of iron and went straight down to the toes. And this tells us that Rome, the Roman Empire would exist all the way down to the end of time until Christ returns. So right now, believe it or not, brethren, we are still under the Roman Empire, but we may call it something else. As we see also, Tonight, we will see that that Roman Empire exists in a different form as miry clay mixed with iron. So tonight, 
we will follow the Roman Empire in the most sure word of prophecy. Read with me Daniel chapter 7 verse 7. I saw in the night visions and behold a fourth beast. Now remember a beast in prophecy is a nation or an empire. And we know that the fourth empire was Rome. So here Daniel is seeing Rome in prophecy. Dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it and it was diverse or different from all the beasts that were before it and it had ten horns. Verse 8, I considered the horns and behold there came up what? Among them a another little horn before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots and behold in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man and a mouth speaking great things. Now in prophecy a horn represents a ruler, a king, a government or such a ruling organization of a nation or an empire. Okay? So what we saw, remember the ten horns on the beast were the ten divisions of Rome, the Ostrogoths, the Hirili, the Vandal, etc. And then after those divisions of Rome, it says there came up another, another ruling power, right? Came up after those and, it, and, and before it came up, three of the first divisions of Rome were destroyed. That said plucked up. We go on. In Daniel chapter 7, verse 8, and let's read verse 21. I beheld, and the same horn did what? Made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Now the saints are God's people. So this is telling us that there, is, there was a ruling power in the Roman Empire that persecuted God's people. That's what it's saying. We move on. The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom. That's what we said just now. The fourth beast. A beast is a kingdom or an empire. So we're talking about Rome. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise and another shall arise after them. King being ruling power. And he shall be different. This new power shall be different from the ones before it. And he shall subdue three kings. He shall speak great words against the Most High. So this ruling power not only will deal with military conquest, but it will be, have a religious aspect to it. Notice, it shall speak great words against the Most High. The Most High we know, Yahweh God. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. The saints of the Most High, God's people. So he shall cause frustration. He shall cause persecution to God's people. And he shall think to change times and laws. That is the laws of God and the times of God. And they, meaning the people of God, shall be given into his hand until a specific time. Which is a time and times and the dividing of time. You notice how much information God is giving us about this, this little horn? And anytime you see God spend a lot of time describing something to you, it is because he wants you to know what it is for certain without any confusion. He give, the more the detail is given, is the more certain you can be who God is talking about. Let's go to our Bibles, Daniel chapter 8. For a, not for a little more detail on this new power which we see is a horn that comes up out of the Roman kingdom. Daniel chapter 8 and we will read verses 9 to 12. Daniel chapter 8 verses 9 to 12 the Bible says and out of one of them came forth what? a little horn remember in Daniel chapter 7 we saw this 